Welcome back everyone to the channel. Brian from Brian's Action Figure Reviews here today. Today I've got a brand new Star Wars Black Series review. And this is from Big Bang Comics, uh, my local toy supplier in Dublin. And today they have supplied me with this very nice Star Wars Force Unleashed Star Killer, aka Gallim Merrick. And this is a figure that I've always wanted since I played the Star Wars Force Unleashed back back in the Xbox 360, I think was the first time I played that. And amazing it has taken them so long to get this guy in the line when there's so many people who have wanted him. And of course they did do the the Hasbro expensive version as well, which came with a few effects pieces and two extra stormtroopers as well as an exclusive. But for me, I personally only wanted just the figure itself. So very happy to get him. Already I have a problem, he should come with two lightsabers, but anyway, that is something to get into in a minute. But anyway guys, let's go check out the, as well, no more plastic free packaging, the box of the Black Series figure, which we can see in all its glory. So let's check out the box for Starkiller. It does say of course, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Starkiller Legends, and of course a return to non-plastic free packaging. So back with the normal boxes. On the side you've got this awesome artwork of Starkiller doing his best electric thing. And on the back, a little blurb there. Gallimara, codenamed Starkiller, was a force sensitive human who became Darth Vader's apprentice during the Galactic Empire's reign. And you get the same thing here again. This is Gaming Greats number 26. You've got your legalies there. And on the bottom, on the side, nothing but Gaming Greats. And here you've got your figure in the pack and he looks really really nice so let's get him out and stick him up on the swing a jig so here we have star killer out of the box and up on the swing a jig and as you can see he's got his signature red lightsaber and i think the costume has come out well and it's lots of different colors and stuff there as you can see the colors has done are are done really really well the face is quite I don't know how to say it. Off-white even, I don't know. It's quite, I don't know, very grey maybe. Um, but yeah, the face is a bit odd and I think I'll go through that in a bit more in a while. But uh, other than that, like this guy is really, really nice. But there is some problems and I'll get to those in a minute. So let's get him down off the swing of a jig and see what the problems are. So let's check out Star Killer a bit closer, shall we? So first, like something that I've noticed a lot with the latest black series releases is the absolute total lack of accessories now people will say but brian there's a deluxe version that costs 120 something and you get two figures and a load of explosions and effects and stuff but i do not want to pay 120 something for a con exclusive when i only want the action figure and a few bits and pieces to come with him so like i always do accessories first this is the sole accessory he came with a lightsaber and um, not much you can say about this it's a lightsaber it's red i think now maybe the second it's the second one i'm thinking of but he did he have two at, at one point in the game you do get two i know that but anyway lazy from hasbro now the figure itself head sculpt is excellent spot on there is a weird shade to the face maybe i don't know the, the buzz cut is done well. Uh, you can't really mess it up. At the back, you've got his, uh, you've got even like all the cuts and stuff on the back of the metal part here. It looks really nice. The outfit is done really well, actually. And you've got like the tie dye down here. T two colors blend into one. And the boots and everything. So, like, the figure itself is pretty good. Sculpt wise, the one thing that has always annoyed me about Black Series and of course Indiana Jones because they're made by the same creator is the articulation on Black Series is usually terrible. Now you do get butterfly joints on these now. So let's just go through. The head goes up this far, looks down that much, left, right, a little bit. You do get a full rotation. Now the shoulders, you do have a butterfly joint there. You do have a full rotation 
no biceps only, but you've got this elbow joint that rotates. Now, I think, is that, is that blood there? Because that's really cool if so. It does, it does a bit of rotation. Single jointed elbows, not a good thing for me. But with, with lightsaber wielding characters, especially, who are supposed to be some of the most agile beings in, in the universe, they should definitely have double jointed elbows. No bicep swivel either. It's just on a swivel here. Legs you do get go out. Single jointed knees as well that rotate. Same articulation as always. Just not good enough, I don't think, in this day and age when we've had so many improvements in articulation across so many lines. Lines that were poor like, like this, but, but actually went and improved themselves. And the Black Series haven't done that, which is kind of un unfortunate. They've stuck to their budgetary ways. But yeah, I do like this figure though. It's nice. It's good to have a version of him in the collection. It was two two games I really really enjoyed, especially the first one. And yeah, so I'm, I think I'm going to give this guy a six because he is really good. He's nice, but I think the limitations of the line itself hold this back from being a much much better figure. They could have done so much better with him, I think. And that's why I will give him a six. So guys, if you liked the review, please subscribe, like, and do all that other stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think of my opinion. Do be nice. And thanks again for watching. If you got this far, you are a trooper. And we'll see you again. Bye.